As you can see, I'm playing again. This is the first helmet I have ever done. <coughs> right now I'm putting on the uh, the checkerboard, trying to index everything. But we got the yellow done, and as soon as I get that done, then we'll try our hand at pinstriping. So. I'll keep you up to date as we go along on it. <clears throat> Hello! That's what I'm doing. Creating my new helmet. I really don't like this style of helmet. That's why if I mess this up, it'll be good practice. But anyway, it seems to be coming along pretty good. I got my yellow on, and now I'm working on putting in the checkered flag scheme. I don't know whether to go with yellow and black, or to go with white and black. I think the white would be better. So I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, well, I'm going to have to go back to yellow. I used a tube color epoxy. So let's open up the gift and see what we got. I like to take <clears throat> my masking tape off. Well, it's still a tacky bit because it leaves a finer line. Totally messed up my splicer. I went to paint it, the paint was cracked all over the place because it was still curing from yesterday and I got in a hurry and messed up. So good. Uh. Put one off in the back first, see how it comes out. Oh, it's not working too bad. I have to put each one of these on individually. I do all the time and effort. It's worth it. So, I'm going to Homestead in 10 days. See the NASCAR races, and I want to look good.
my buddy Ed can go from Alaska to Argentina on a Honda 90. <clears throat> I guess I can do it on my Tau Tau 110, but I don't want to go to Argentina. I don't want to go to Central America. I just want to cruise around my home USA. And I hope this is looks as good as I think it's going to. It's pretty good so far. A lot of tape work. Probably picking up lawnmower better than you're picking me up. Always pick the darnest times to do this stuff. <laughs> Trick is take your time. Don't be in no big hurry. And then you don't mess up like I did on my visor, which is outside drying in the sun. It's going to have to be completely stripped. All of the uh, paint's going to have to come off. No way around it. Which I hate. My next video. Hopefully will be. Showing you what all I. I'm going to pack on my little <coughs> tow tow for my trip. Burgers. Made a little scratch in the white. Too bad so far. <clears throat> Not bad at all. I'm a little worried about my edge here. Down 
onto my rubber. So far it looks like a pretty good shape. Looking good. practice I may have found me a new profession. supposed to tear it. I just have to make one. And once I get my pinstripes around these edges, that's going to look pretty good. Not bad for an old man first try. <laughs> I don't think that turned out too bad. The pinstripes, I can get that glare out of there. I couldn't do a straight line, so I just kind of like did a messed up line. Yeah, I think that turned out real good. The uh, visor, I sanded down the uh, where all the cracks were along the visor here and uh, painted it black not a flat but a semi-gloss and that turned out looking real nice overall I don't think it looks too doggone bad for a beginner I even signed it <laughs> of course and uh, 
I've had a lot of compliments on it so far. We made it to Fish Eating Creek rather than going to the uh, NASCAR race. But I will tell you this, it almost killed me. <laughs> Sleeping on the hard ground in a tent and in cold and my new hips and my arthritis we just didn't get along uh, there's my sweet little bike got some new saddlebags for it real nice saddlebags I like them scooter logic this here is the camping gear now not the cooler but everything else went on the trip in my big bag I put a picture of it loaded well not loaded just after I unloaded at Fish Eating Creek I will put a picture there for you nice job <laughs> 